The first set of Apple intelligence features are finally here and available to the public with iOS 18.1. I've been using Apple Intelligence for a few months now in beta and I truly believe it's boosted my productivity and been extremely helpful in my day-to-day -day workflows. Whether it's saving time on email, helping me proofread spelling mistakes I might have made, or helping me research things quickly, Apple Intelligence has been game-changing for me. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. There are already so many good AI tools out there, but what I've been wanting is deep integration with AI in the Apple ecosystem. And that's exactly what Apple Intelligence does. For pretty much all of my productivity apps, I use iOS apps. So I use Apple Notes, Apple Mail, Reminders, and Calendars. And I wanna show you some things that Apple Intelligence has to offer that has truly made me more productive. Unfortunately, Apple Intelligence is only available on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, the iPhone 16 series, and any Mac or iPad with an M series chip as well as the new iPad mini. All right, getting into some of the features. I think one thing that is really important when it comes to productivity is limiting distractions. And Apple Intelligence offers a new focus mode called reduce interruptions. So what this does is it filters out less important notifications so I can stay focused on the tasks that I'm working on, but it doesn't put me on do not disturb so that it silences every notification. I know you can play around with it, but this reduced interruptions is Apple intelligence just working in the background, determining what is important or what isn't. This feature alone has been really helpful for me. I've had it on since really day one of beta, and it has a nice little Apple intelligence icon displaying for the focus filter. In mail, productivity improvements start with a new feature called summarize. So if I get a long email that I don't really want to read, I can tap summarize for the main points, saving time and effort. Apple intelligence also offers smart replies for quick responses in both mail and iMessage. With just a tap, I can reply in a friendly or professional tone, depending on the situation. These two features alone can save me tons of time throughout the day. And the new priority messages feature highlights urgent emails, so I don't miss anything important. Siri also got a productivity boost with the new look and improved functionality, which I think looks pretty good. I use it to add reminders and calendar events, check my schedule, and it's now better at processing commands mid-sentence. So if I make a mistake, It'll adjust it in real time. At a reminder, I mean a calendar event for a phone call tomorrow at 5 p.m. Also, Type to Siri is really good for when I'm around a lot of people and I don't want to ask audibly. I can just double tap at the bottom and ask Siri anything. It's been pretty good. It's got predictive text. It's faster to get the item that I want to search. Plus, Siri's new product knowledge feature can quickly answer questions about Apple products, which is helpful when doing my YouTube work. Next, in notes, Apple Intelligence offers writing tools as well. So if I highlight a text here, there's options like proofread and rewrite. Proofread is great because it improves grammar, tone, and structure. So I don't have to go back and reread a ton of times to make changes. I can do it all at one time, see all the changes, and then make the adjustments as needed. Rewrite will create a different version of the text that might help me articulate better what I'm thinking, but can't quite put it into words. It's really nice whenever you click one of these options, Apple Intelligence processes it, kind of like streams down and looks at all the text, and it happens fairly quickly every time that I do it. These writing tools have been really useful for helping me write scripts and making it better, and overall just being very helpful and saving me time especially with the proofread option. There's other options as well, like summarizing, putting in key points, making a list or table that are helpful and available as well. Now, productivity is going to get better and better with Apple Intelligence as they roll out more features. So we're on the lookout with that with iOS 18.2, which whenever that comes out, maybe I'll make a part two to this video to show you guys what's new with that as well. There's a ton of other features to discover with Apple Intelligence and more to look forward to coming in the near future. But yeah, my productivity, it's already been boosted by quite a bit. I've really enjoyed using Apple Intelligence so far. 
Let me know in the comments what's been your favorite feature, what's your experience been like so far. As always guys, thanks for watching, God bless, and I will see you on the next video.